Now we are already on the way on the German Autobahn with police escort. Well, that was very nice. So you can really not pass them very fast. They're, maybe they didn't care, but we were careful. This is part two where explaining strategy, how to calculate something, and have a joy at the rainbow just left of us. Please enjoy this great trip. We give you a lot of information about the website, what you can take in order to have the best strategy and tour for the drive. Sure, calculated with a better route planner. We already left with 30% because that was our handicap. The island Mino at uh, Lake Constance or Bodensee. And the next supercharger to arrive with 12%, as you can see, was Leonberg East or Leonberg Ost. And so let me explain to you a little bit more about why do I choose or why did we choose this strategy. So as you know, we had to start from the island Mainau and go across Germany from southwest to northeast. We had an alternative route, you can see here, and we wanted to do four stops. So why did we do four stops? You might can do with one stop or no stop and drive the whole trip, but you have to come to the optimum. So the Swiss friends helped a little bit because there is a website called ecalc.ch. It's in German and in English, where you can exactly calculate how much your car is consuming. And I explain that now how. First, you enter all of the conditions of the car. So they have a selection of Tesla and Model 3 performance on all different kinds of electric car. You maintain a certain accessory consumption, the thermal BMS, the battery degradation. If it's an older car, you have to put more in additional payloads, what type of tires, what tire pressure, the state of charge, as de uh, of charge at departure, the state of charge at destination, and what state of charge at recharge you want to access that, and the maximum power what you can uh, charge into your car. So we stayed with a Tesla supercharger network because we didn't want to deal with chargers which didn't work like one of their competitors. And then you have to put the distance in what you are driving and maybe some upslope or downslope and also the measurement units. So then for that distance you will get an optimization uh, spreadsheet or sheet. And what you can see here as travel time and consumption, as well as uh, the speed, you find out, and I highlighted that here, that the speed between 100 and 120 is the optimum speed. Actually, as you see there, the total travel time is 7 hours 07 and 400 miles per hour, and 420 miles per hour is 7.05. When you look and analyze the entire sheet, you find out that fast driving really does not make sense. Fast driving like this, what I'm showing now. Kleine Verfolgungsjagd hier von einem Mercedes. Wir haben 856 in Model 3. So how is the benchmark, even when some producers of cars saying that Tesla is not a benchmark, I think Tesla is the benchmark. Because if you're comparing those figures, you, then you can see that the Tesla Model 3 long-range all-wheel drive, especially those ones with the aero caps, is faster than the Porsche Taycan. So that's, that's why I call it the Taycan. Most of the people cannot pronounce it. I'm happy that they have it, but you also see on the consumption even with the charge rate, as a consumption of 566 watt per mile, where the Model 3 long range aero caps has 438. And you can charge as much as you want to if you have the highest consumption, 
you cannot win this race. And that's what you have to consider when you're driving. Sure, there is another website, a better route planner, what we used as well, where you can enter about the same parameters and road condition, watch the temperature, watch it was raining or not raining. So we maintained rain, extra weight, battery degradation. The settings are approximately the same. And here you can also see what is the start departure percentage, what is the uh, charge minimum at arrival, and what is the goal arrival percentage. And also, please consider the charging curve. Because the charging curve at the Model 3 is the best between 10 and 50%. So stay in that range and do not charge any longer as you have enough. Start and keep going. After entering the parameters, you will end up with a route of your chargers. Those chargers with their locations should go into your calendar and synchronize with your phone and your Tesla. Then you have any one of those locations where you can tip on the calendar and drive to the next or the next location after that one. Do not come under 10% because if you come under 10% your charge time takes way longer. You would have to try to stay depending from your distance between chargers between 10 and 50 percent. That is pretty easy with a Tesla Model 3 long range. And sometimes you might not be able to drive that fast. At the end what you do, if you have uh, uh, energy left and you have free range to drive, so no speed restrictions, then you can speed up to 100 to 120 miles per hour. Now this is the full journey on the map with one, two, three, four, five chargers and the last charger is really to fill up to the handicap of 40% at arrival. But there are more settings what you can do to save energy in your car including also the tire pressure to pump up to a certain amount but also some settings in the car and we explain that now what the settings in the car are. So how are the settings again? It's on chill mode, link uh, uh, radius is uh, well, steering radius is standard and regeneration is low because you will not make any advantage when you high regeneration because you cannot recuperate so much or regenerate so much. So we do have to really smooth driving. Uh, navigation is with one minute. If you have any congestions, uh, safety is normal. Service you don't have to check. Okay, that's it. Uh, AC we will have to turn the AC off. Sorry. So off. Stop. Yeah, it's off. Off. Okay, AC is off now. Okay, I'm ready to go. So now we have rain and congestion in front of Stuttgart. And there is about 37 kilometers, about 20 miles to the next supercharger. And we have to create an, an emergency lane in the middle between those two lanes. And that's something what te a Tesla cannot do here in uh, Germany because uh, the rules are different here in the US as in Germany. So you have to, for emergency vehicles, you have to leave a lane available so that they can go in the middle and pass, go to the front where usually an accident is. So we're going to lose some time here but other ones lose time as well. Same supercharger as we've been before. Okay, als gestern, da hätten wir gleich bleiben können. Ja, hätten wir uns alles sparen können. Jetzt rechts abbiegen, um auf Breitwiesenstraße zu bleiben.
jetzt das Ziel befindet sich auf der linken Seite. Wir werden hier rum. Stehen Sie schon. Veronica. Okay, ist Model 3. Okay, da. Da sind sie. Aber müssen wir da? Ja, müssen wir auch. Ist das mal da oder in welchem Moment? Oder den vorne, den ersten? Den, oder? Den? Nee, du musst... Ah, geht auch. Ja, genau. Den kannst du nehmen. 10B. Zurück, rück ran. 10B oder 10... Ah, ist egal. Supercharging. Das ist ja echt... Das die Kamera ist aus, nach hinten. Weiter. Hallo. Okay, auf geht's. Geschafft. Super. Okay, geht's gut. Was hat er ab 15? Also 15 Prozent, den musst du ja aufschreiben, ne? Der hat ja den Autopilot nach dem Lenkrad gehängt. Bei mir fällt auch immer die Flasche. Die Flasche, immer die Flasche. Das ist Da müssen wir noch dran arbeiten. Damit Beim nächsten Mal müssen wir da schneller sein. Ja. Und? Okay, super. Klasse. Alright, this is Mercedes Country. That was very close to the Zinder thing. And we are leaving the supercharger in Leonberg. With 74%, we could have been a little bit more. The, but the, the lovely German vehicles with great sound. <laughs> <laughs> and artificial sound, <laughs> additionally, artificial sound. <laughs> so, we're going back on the highway on 81 and going towards north east of Germany. So, the interesting thing is these lights there on the top, as you see it, they're also being blurry now. But these lights on the top, they are simulating if you would have rain. And then the wisher is going, as you see there. So I keep it really on blur mode. What was that? Keep it really on blur mode. So that you can see that. Good old German blitzer. Because Four, oh, because four, now we're going out of the tunnel, because it looks like for that camera here, which is here, like rain, and then the sensors are thinking it's raining, and the windshield wiper is going. As you see now, there's no windshield wiper going, and in the tunnel there's no rain either. So, but that's the funny thing there. So, here's another thing what I want to show you. This is a special sign. This means unlimited. It means drive. you can drive free as you can be a free citizen and drive as fast as you want. So, and that's on the autobahn. So there are three lanes currently. However, there is a sign on top of the road. And I'm going to show you that sign on top of the road, what's coming soon. And that sign on top of the road says. Speed limit and the speed limit is currently 120. So, so yeah, 120 and it shows here unlimited. So that a little bit needs a little bit improvement here in Germany. We had to exit the highway going through the countryside and because there's a big congestion it was already shown, but most of the people did not exit. But I did not understand because I would rather be driving instead of staying. Yeah. Auf L 1111. That's why they're waiting for. So, and there was a line, but we had to bypass. And we had to bypass it on pretty dirt roads. My home is my castle, castle and we have a lot of them. Räuber Hotzenplatz. Yeah. Ah, what my zoom? Ah. Okay, successfully bypassed In the congestion. In 200 meters, turn right onto the A81 ramp towards Berg. 
Yeah, and we're going to Würzburg. Turn right onto the A81 ramp, then merge on A81. Würzburg. It's freie Fahrt. Für freie Bürger. So free drive for free citizen. That's how it's in Germany. Currently driving 170, 180. That's free. That's that sign means free. From the land of the free. So, 120, not free anymore. Next supercharger. Turn right here. Da sind sie rechts. Ah, warte mal, bist du jetzt vorbeigefahren? Linke Seite. Da sind sie. Da ist er. So, next supercharger. Mhm. Vorsicht. Ja. Und hier rum. So. Okay. Oh, die müssen Reifen abpumpen. Okay. Für da. Ja. Und wo ist Model 3? Ja, hier. Alle, alle umgerüstet. Die nächsten nehmen. Okay, we made it. Ah, warte mal. Ja, haben wir's. Und auf geht's. Chargen. Machen wir schneller. Oh, schnell, ne? Ja, ja gut. Wie beim Boxenstopp. Yeah. Ja. Boxenstopp. So, das ist Supercharger in. Wo sind wir hier? Supercharger in. Uh... Can you check that again? Okay. At least there is a. Uh... Durenberg? Okay. So we have to charge about the maybe 20, 20, 20 minutes or so. And then we can continue. Okay, the race is going on. So, and that's usual weather in, weather in Germany. Usually it's raining. <laughs> no, you don't think so. So, when the Amerikaner come here, the tax is not paid. This is so He said it's only when Americans pay their tax in Germany. You know, we, we don't pay taxes. Just enjoy your your roads. Or did no? I I did I drink all my beer. <laughs> okay, that's only 120 there. You see that? And yes, shows 120. That's correct. So most of the highways in Germany or Autobahn are really restricted. They are not free. And this is the kind of weather you can drive anyway. Rain already gone. Straight road, dry. Can drive faster. So, okay, what's the strategy? Weather is fine now. We are 10% arriving at the Münchberg North Germany supercharger. There are already four people of six charging there. So we not getting full performance. We hope that people leaving there. Strategy is we are driving with the Model 3 up to 10% down because that's the maximum what the uh, What it can take to full charge the car again, and then we are charging it up 50 between 50 and 70 percent uh, Sometimes maybe even more, but this also depending from the road condition depends from uh, congestions depends from uh, restrictions in speed and so on so that's what you all have to consider and it's sometimes not possible to calculate that so the last congestion on the highway we bypassed we just went through country road and that was a good uh, step and we are looking pretty good and forward we are forward we are ahead and we just hope that the next supercharger there 
Oh, one left already. So one left. So there are three R, three there from six. So if there's another one leaving and we are arriving there, that would be the best way. And most of the people don't know what is A and B. So it means that A or B and there are some of them are parking uh, charging on A and B, that would be lucky for us. Then we can take a full stream and charge up. That's the last time before charge up before Leipzig. There's another supercharger in Leipzig, which is a probably a little bit bigger. And that's the strategy. We are, we are doing good so far, so keep the fingers crossed. We will try to convince the people to free us a charger. I hope that works out. Now we are arriving at the Münchberg Nord supercharger and we only stay there for 13 minutes because we're charging from 10 to 54 percent. At least that was the plan. And there were already people there on blocking us, really, our spot. And uh, they gave it to the other ones as well. Some people even had their par car parked there and then they backed up and removed their car from the spot that we could charge. So was not expected, it, but was a very nice gesture that they could do that. So we had to back up here and uh, Stefan also told me that the ba battery stage of charge is low and that is correct. And it's supposed to be 10% that where we wanted to end up with. So immediately jump out of the car and get the car plugged in so lesser time so better it is. And sure that nice gentleman helped us there uh, and we had even two chargers available means uh, port 3A and 3B. And other NNE also said that uh, there were other chargers but did not make so much uh, power so only 75 kilowatt and some part some cars are limited to 90 kilowatt anyway so for example Tesla card and she was easily uh, could go there and charge there so we got actually here the maximum power and there was another gentleman there where he removed his car from the charger when someone else came and want to charge so for that nice gesture of that uh, person right next to me he was staying the whole day there and waiting for us to come through whereby we were pretty the early ones but there were also way later ones uh, after us and we were really happy that he did that and for that we asked him really what his size of the t-shirt is and uh, if he uh, would like to have a t-shirt and his size was L so I got to get the card of the car in order to open it and then I just out of the car pulled a t-shirt. We had a whole bunch of t-shirts for those people who were so nice to us. So they got a reward. Here, we have a t-shirt for you. So we got a t-shirt for him because he is keeping the whole day the starting stations available. So, take the t-shirt. Come. That's for you. Tesla owner's US t-shirt. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Vielen Dank. What I learned from the beginning when you have a roadster and you have energy left to the next destination charger, in our case the supercharger, we want to burn it down to 10%, you can do that. You can speed up if there is no speed limit and you can drive fast. This is actually actual speed. And we arrived the Nempitz or over says Mumpitz supercharger next. So, this is in English, so it's a little windy here. Sorry to speak in English after I turn the. Wenn ich die Kamera ausdrehe, dann spreche ich mit euch in Deutsch. So, das ist für die Amerikaner, die müssen da mal wissen, wie, das wie so ein Rennen funktioniert. Ne? Okay. So, we are the first here at that station. 
and we are on 3B so we get the most power as you know and this station is full and a lot of people here Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for uh, keeping the station yeah very nice oh are they leaving again no they're not from us you're just keeping the stations free, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, it's, it's a little bit windy. So, just a couple of minutes and we continue. Okay. Alle schönen Grüße. Hey. Wir müssen weiter. Good. Let's go. Tschüss. Okay. Könnt ihr mich mal abstöpseln? Warte mal, kannst du mal frei machen? Alright, last piece. So we have one more stop because we have to arrive for 40%. So now we're going on the autobahn as good as we can. We would arrive with the last one at 24%, but we are want to arrive with 10%. That means we have to burn 14% more and we're currently driving quite good of 180 kilometers and sometimes faster uh, what we have there it's 118 kilometers to the destination we would arriving with 23 percent but we want to arrive with 10 percent which is the optimum 50 kilometers before the last charger there we have to charge up to 40 percent and we are driving good about 100 miles per hour and there are some slow poles I see this in front of us <laughs> they're not getting get out of the way get out of the way get out of the way buddy <laughs> <laughs> so and we will be soon arriving there but there's another construction zone what you can see here and so we are actually burning in front of the construction zone because we're gaining back there. There is some of the temperatures. Oh, some of the temperatures. I did not allow to turn the air AC on. Sorry, sorry, Step. So if you see that, you're kind of sailing to your next charger. So that's the last charger. Is this an own stall? Ja, das ist richtig. Das ist ein, das ist ein Doppelstall. At the Supercharger, last one. 40% plus the remaining. Well, that was the last Supercharger. We might not have to stop there, but we had to stop because that we had a handicap to arrive with 40% plus. And that's what we did. And we arrived, we stopped there and then sat there car on the destination once we had the car on the destination we just waited until we have 40 percent estimated range at destination but we charged a little bit more we charged actually 43 percent and that was luck because that luck i will explain a little bit later i got a lot of questions there and i answered them from the folks standing there now let me tell you something about how to use your phone and your calendar uh, with the destination locations. That might be that if you enter your final destination, Tesla will suggest you a different route depending from capacity of the superchargers, but that might not be the fastest route. So we wanted to drive the fastest route calculated by a better route planner and we use that and then we put all of the items including the time into our phone when we should arrive and when we should leave and we put that in our phone as calendar items so and when we synchronize the phone with our car then we had all of these stops in our calendar and in order to arrive to that location we just just sometimes put that into the calendar itself and then tipped on that calendar item and the system navigated to that. Why is that important? Because the car will heat up 
add to that destination in order to get to the supercharger. Sometimes you might also say, take not the next one, the, the following of the next one, because the Model 3 will heat up your car to an optimum temperature that you can immediately charge as fast as you want to charge. And that's an important topic as well. So the calendars uh, will be beneficial and the route to be entered in your system so that your charge temperature is perfect at the time of arrival. So you need to consider that as well. 10%. So 10% to uh, now to destination. We have to arrive with 40%. That means we will be leaving here in a couple of minutes because we are have currently 11%. No, wait a second. We have 24% and to just a couple of percent more and then we go. Final two miles to destination. Yeah, so hotel directly at the supercharger but we cannot supercharge there. We should have charged before and that's what we did. And we would be arrived very soon. Oh, what the shit. <laughs> So we uh, just missed the exit. Actually, we didn't miss the exit. The exit was blocked. The exit was blocked from the construction. And we should have exited way before. What we didn't know, navigation system didn't show. So we had to do a big of a detour, about 15 minutes or so. And we are we charged a little bit more and we have to arrive 40%. We are now basically actually on exact 40%. So we are sweating 40% arrival. <laughs> and we're supposed to go 40%. Now the right Here we go. <laughs> And then let them check in. So, so who is registering the? We must our drink. Zeigen. <lacht> ja, es war eine durchwachsene 40 Prozent. Guck dir das an. Und in diesem Sinne, gibt es eine Sonderprüfung, mal genau an. Kein CCS. Aber warum ist das der Punkt vom letzten Jahr? Oder? Das Schwesterfahrzeug, also ist ein Kilometerstand ist 10, 3, 10, 3, 300. Ja, dann sind wir ja mal gespannt auf das Ergebnis, was dann später verkündet wird. Ja, ein Applaus noch einmal. Jo! So, Here are the results now. The first six are all Model 3s. And we were the first performance Model 3 to arrive at the destination. And these Model 3s are unbeatable. And I said it right at the beginning of the movie that the Model 3 is the car because of the efficiency and also the drag coefficient as well as the charge rate, which is hardly to be beaten by any other car. Astonishingly is also the next one. So remember that table here is of the comparison of a benchmarking. As you can see the Model 3 long range all wheel drive with aero caps is that what beats everybody. And we were probably in the same range like anyone else. This was ours. Also very astonishingly is the Hyundai Kona, so with a 64 kilowatt battery and a charge speed of only 78 uh, kilowatt, they had, sure, they had a start handicap of 80 and a goal handicap of 30, 
but still uh, quite of a respectable. The Audi e-tron, even with this huge battery and huge uh, charging capacity, did not make it any further. And then you can see all of the other cars there and how they performed. So you play the movie a little bit shorter, then you can see who is all there. Some of the poor guys could not make it and after 18 hours we uh, did not uh, count it anymore. The other guys that uh, the Jaguar I-Pace astonishingly is number 54 with 17 hours 21 uh, charge time uh, and drive time. Uh, that car is really not uh, suitable for a long range. So let me give you a conclusion of the whole race. A lot of participants and a lot of action doing the whole ride. So we drove about 500 miles, that's about over 800 kilometer and all of the fastest cars were Model 3s, or fastest arriving cars. We had some limitations, or not limitations, we wanted to say we wanted to drive only on a Tesla charger network and uh, some of them were 125 kilowatt, some of them 150 kilowatt and we had a certain strategy before but we couldn't take care of everything so there were congestions, uh, construction zones and all of them you need to take care of and uh, bypass them, find better alternative routes and you have to do that instantly and to do that instantly you have to have a team of people and everyone has to take care of a certain task and the winner actually did that and uh, that was the Aloha team, the winners and they took care of first where are the other drivers and do I get a spot when charging when 60 cars driving you need to make sure that you get a spot for driving and the next one was uh, where are certain construction zones or certain uh, congestions and we bypassed one of the congestion but not the other and we run into the first congestion and we're thinking that was not so difficult but it was it took us more time than expected and then at the last thing we missed an exit there was a construction zone at an exit where it was really not clear where you had to go, navigation system tell you to, to, told you to exit, but you couldn't exit at that time. So, and then we had to do a detour, and you had to leave with a certain amount of charge. We had to leave with 70% charge, and we had to arrive with 40%. So that one was an additional handicap. In, and in spite of that handicap, Model 3s all made it, and we finally ended up running as with Stefan, the first time driving of that long distance, actually uh, pretty good, and he's, he's driving uh, yes, so his driver lessons since two uh, weeks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's driving since a long time, but for first time driving electric on that long distance and also in that amount of time to yeah, be the, efficient the best, driver. The best coach and the <laughs> best co-driver, <laughs> which I can wish me. Yeah, and uh, I think for uh, we placed number six of all drivers, it was pretty good. There you were know, some other ones, you, you had to remember that with 20-inch uh, wheels and no uh, ca caps on, on top of it, and also against cars which are Lowered, lowered, and closer to the uh, to the road. There was a little bit of a difference there. So we made for. We are happy with number six, right? Yeah. So we are happy Great. with number six. And and f last thing, what we want to say is, all of the people were alongside our route and cheering us and celebrating with us. And most of the fun was the people who are actually providing us a charger by staying there and giving the chargers to us of giving up on their own chargers. So those people deserved a t-shirt from me. And those people who got a t-shirt, please 
send an email at info at teslaowners.us to me with a picture and with your name I would like to mention you in the last conclusion and the last one of this great event. Thanks for all of the event uh, people who made that event possible and if you like that movie please subscribe to the channel and make your thumbs up, do your thumbs up and subscription is for free. Thank you very much and thanks to the best driver ever, <laughs> Stefan, for that great trip and bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. I press to say